A gentleman told me one time, whenever you dress up, you feel up. And when you feel up, you speak up. So understand the importance of dressing for success. Dress the same way you want to be addressed. These are statements that I've heard continuously as a chemistry speaker to understand that as a presenter, the last thing I want is me worrying about how I'm dressing, having some anxiety and fear about whether people are gonna judge whether or not this is a good enough dress or this is the good suit. If you have this fear about people judging the way you're dressing, whether you don't feel adequate enough, trust me, I was right in your shoes. See, I don't come from a rich family. I was born in Africa from a relatively middle-class home. And after I moved to America, often enough people used to pick on me, laugh at me for my clothes. So sometimes when I would have to do presentation, I was so self-conscious of the way I looked and often enough I didn't want to be humiliated that I often would withdraw and I would run away or sometimes I would bring an excuse to not be in front of the class. So that's something that I had to start taking care of. And when I started working with like a mentor and some of the other people that started giving me positive advice to start realizing, dress the best you can. The dressing the best you can had nothing to do with actually dressing up. It had to do with how I felt. That's another thing I want to share with you. How you feel inside would determine the effectiveness of how you present your message. Remember I told you guys about energy. I told you guys about understanding that when you're speaking, you speak out loud, you have a lot of energy because that is transferable. People can also see that, they can feel how you speak. So for them to feel how you speak, you also have to feel better and then be able to speak, right? So in one of the ways for you to feel better is also how your perception of yourself, how you look. So if you're dressing the best according to your belief and you're feeling good about how you're dressing, you go automatically start walking with your chest up, you're gonna speak much better, you're gonna be more confident. So understand that dressing for success, dressing the best that you can, is gonna help you on your journey, on your way to be able to give a better presentation. The last thing you want to do is having a mental blockage that comes to your mind because of how you perceiving yourself not being adequate the way you're dressed to present the information. Something else that's quite important to know about dressing up is what is your audience. If you're gonna be presenting your information in front of a corporate, more business type, you wanna make sure to match adequately what the attire in that setting is. If you're gonna be presenting your information in front of like high schoolers or junior high, middle school kids, you also wanna make sure that you don't come over there with just suit and tie. You'll feel too much of a disconnect with the audience that you're talking to. If you're gonna be, for example, speaking to a group of athletes, you wanna make sure maybe you have some athletes slash attire, something that they can relate to. Because the way you look is going to help you, the messenger, either relate to the audience or not. Here's a couple of things you can ask yourself when you're choosing how you should dress for that presentation. One of the things is simple. Do you feel like you're being respected by the way you're dressing? So the last thing you want is for people to feel like you're being judged or you feel like maybe your dress is too short, that people are looking over there or it's, it's too something that, that is going to be shocking or too creating some form of scandal compared to the audience in which you're speaking to. Would the audience be gasping at the way you're dressed? Unfortunately, I've been at a setting one time where uh, this particular speaker came out and as they came out, the audience gasped like, oh my god and it wasn't like one of those like oh my god this is awesome it was more like what in the world is this person wearing uh let's just say that she wasn't <laughs> the best dress for the particular message that she was going to give another good rule of thumb does your dress distract you too much from your message if you feel distracted about worrying about how you look compared to what the message you're going to give then also the audience might be just as much distracted by the way you look Right? So understand that as well. Trying to take as much distraction out of the picture. For example, let's say if you are a brand ambassador for a particular brand or a company, you're the spokesperson for them. And the way you dress or the way you have to be extravagant is that plays also a role to your presentation. Then in that particular case, you might have to be a little bit over the top. Right, so you have to understand what is this particular situation. Maybe that situation calls for you to be over the top or dress a particular way because that is part 
of the branding and the message that you want to also send across. So know your audience, know what maybe uh, the message that you want to bring, the sponsors, the people that are involved in you being there, what message did they want you to also convey? Uh, that is also part of that. Me as an entrepreneur, often enough, when I go and speak, I dress for success, but also I want to relate enough. If I speak to college students, I want to relate to them. If I, I speak to more corporate suits, I might have a suit and tie on because I want to relate to them. If I'm speaking to students, I might just have a nice polo like this and then speak to them as well. So you also want to have that understanding of knowing what does your audience require? What can you be able to relate to them? And also, does that still fit in your personality? Maybe you're somebody who doesn't wear a suit and tie. So don't waste your time trying to uh, wear a suit and a tie and then you feel super uncomfortable and now you're you're no you're conscious of the way you're dressed that brings down your energy that creates confusion then your delivery is not well right so remember don't let the way you dress affect the way you present your message that's i guess the biggest thing i can say don't let the way you dress affect the way you present your message